All right, so here we are for round four, where we can win six, I mean one pack. And we got the play. And sure. We don't know our matchup, so we're going to ponder trying to find a land or other cantrips. This doesn't seem like a keep, but if our opponent's like Blue Red Delver, it's really good. I never know how to keep hands with these decks like this because in a mirror it's great. Or like a mirror, a Delver mirror. Um, but it's like awful against any combo deck. And Moto's kind of combo centric, so it's it's, it's weird. I'm just hoping that Treasure Cruise gets banned next weekend. Come on. Just one time, Wizards. Make me happy. Just get rid of this card. So we're going to go get a Volcanic Island, and we are going to Ponder. A lot of the decisions that got us to this point in our life. All right, so let's see what three cards are on top of our library. Delver Days Land. Days Delver land. Would you like to show your library? No. All right, let's not die this turn. Because we could have, you know, been like, oh, oh. Really thought that was going to be a chalice. So now what is our opponent playing? Because, to be honest, I couldn't tell you. But we're going to have a Delver. And we're probably, no, we don't want to end a turn anything, because we want to get at least a look at the days. And then we'll shuffle it away. Maybe? I don't even know. Depends what happens this turn. Oh, is this mono red sneak attack? Alright, well, we'll get blue green spell pierce that. Maybe we should have got blue red, but if we draw a goif, we're going to want to cast it. Or no, it's painter. No, this is painter. Yes. That's exactly what I wanted. More fork bolts. Sure, we're going to go to town on his life points if he blood moons us. Bam. This is looking more and more like a monarch sneak attack. No, but they don't chalice. Yeah, they're in, yeah. This is painter because they're chalicing, or they're they're yeah because he's sensing, so therefore he's not chalicing. Or ensnaring bridge. Come on, man. I just want to kill you. Just let me kill you. Hey, I might get another hit in, though. And then that's dead. Yep. Well, maybe he might Power Blast. No, he would have left the mana open in his pool to Power Blast, so he doesn't have Power Blast. And now if he does, we can daze it. We're in our main. So we just get to use our mana. But 
but we can't uh, get them. play a card ape that might help us hit him he has to get rid of two cards now and I just want to make sure that uh, so he's playing a blood stain that's great Chose red. Everything is red. Down to five. Man, this looks trippy. I think he was born to be gruel. I guess we brainstorm. Into nothing. No fetch, no nothing. Hitting control, we're going to. <laughs> Excuse me. Power bless this. Dazing this. Break to pay one for days. Cancel, whatever. And I'll let this attack with this, and now. If he blocks, we get to kill this. Yep. So he's going to block. We're going to lose our guy, which sucks, but he doesn't have a painter. And we're going to be able to treasure curse next turn. What does he have? He has, oh he has too much. Yeah, he has, Goyf's too big. Goyf's too big to ever get under this. We just have to find two bolts. And now, if he didn't block, we were going to hit him, so his Ancient Tomb never turns on again. Alright, well... Can we hit a non instant sorcery to flip it back to a Delver of Secrets? Because that would be sweet. You know, these aren't really treasures. There's nothing magical about these. I don't even get why this deck is that good. I mean, Daryl Ayers has been playing for a lot, and he just smashed the open, just demolished it. And I'm, I mean, I went 7 6 in my matches. And. Topping? Ok. 
Could have just done that on his turn. I guess it seems very good in the mirror. Uh-oh. Better get down to two cards, buddy. Yeah, we'll play one. It doesn't really matter. Got the whole team. For the first time in the match, we got the whole gang together. Alright, so just get one good hit in. The credit, that would feel good. Alright, well we're done casting our non credit non lightning bolt spells. It wasn't our decision. He made us do this. Bolt ya. Now he can't activate his ancient tomb. Oh no, he can because it's a. Yeah, never mind. But we have him at one life. Come on, Brick. Let this credit go the distance. Out of pork bolts, right? Yeah, because we got them real early. I ain't gonna do nothing. Right, so he's gonna go up to three cards, but just play the painter. Don't mind him drawing lands. Gotta keep him away from the combo. I guess lands means... I mean, I'm never gonna get there with these. I just need to... Force of Will and Lightning Bolt are the only two cards I care about at this point. Keep choosing red. Interesting color. Bolt! I can get some work done. With the green and blue, you could destroy stuff. Alright, bolt, 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 because it's getting really bad. Wasteland won't do anything.
Yes. Pew, 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 pew. Didn't name blue, so you can't counter it. Oh, it's just destroy permanent. Okay. I thought it was counter target spell or destroy. I thought it was just red blast. All right. So, pithy needle in. Grudge in. Crowson grip in. Vendillion click in. Sylvan. Hell, Sulfuric Vortex seems sweet too. He's trying to combo me. All right, Fork Bolts out. Pyro Blast, obviously out. We want Grudge, Crowson Grip, this. I guess GTA's not that important. GTA's not good in this matchup. What am I trying to, what am I trying to prove? Um, I can see cutting a card ape. I can see just getting like brick walled. So yeah, we'll do that. No, oh, I did not think we were gonna find the bolt. Not after how today's been going. Making savage misplays, running a little bad. I do want a very humbling day though, so uh you guys just tell me everything I did wrong, because I'm pretty sure I did not play correctly. He is on blue green enchantress. Hmm. All right, so for game two, uh, we're going to keep this hand because it has double force of will. That just helps from the blowout uh, uh, blood moon draws. It's really hard to not keep this. Yeah, he can have a grindstone. We'll stop him from having the other pieces, but I always let him have the first one. Playing Kurt up here is actually kind of interesting, but I think... Huh. I think I'm just going to get the Kurt into play. Get our beat stick on. I was all ready to ponder, but uh, we found a threat at least. Ooh, a non-basic. Pyroclasm? Sure, I'll, I'll keep my guy alive. We want to ponder here. Uh, sure, I'm going to keep the days two and a land. And we'll keep the days just in case we need it. Odds are we won't, but uh, it's just a blue card that will be pitched. And we don't need three lands. We're just going to want to play Goyf next turn. But it, So, I mean, we won't play Goyf if he plays a three minus spell. We'll just daze it. We'll let him have a top. That's just mana we don't care about him using and we want any excuse to get uh ooh. spell skites a little bit more interesting we're gonna counter that pitching probe and we're gonna daze reb yeah So now we're going to get our mountain or our chop. Let us start hitting with crit eight. We still have a counter spell. He's only got one card in hand left. But we're going to, from now on, with this force will, we're going to have to be cautious. We're going to be like. Is this actually important? No uh, top during upkeep. And only one card in hand.
He's spinning. Spinning for a blood moon. That we can't let happen. We just gotta hope he doesn't have any combo. Oh, wow. Really? Alright, well. One, yep. He might win the race on this. Whew. We upped our clock. We doubled it. to go even a delver those aren't bolts keep playing lands keep playing lands blue card or lightning bolt yeah blue card perfect now we can counter something oh he gets the one one credit beats on he's got parklasms All right, more dead cards. Perfect. Our percentages are going up. <laughs> you got it, Chief. You got two Blood Moons now. All right, now he's going down to nine. Sorry, guys. Due to unexpected... Uh, I just I don't have enough flavor lore. I was thinking of some reason why the boat wasn't going to go. I don't really get why this stops an ocean from working. It's in the graveyard. No artifacts. Nothing. Oh, no, he's got a spell skate? Ah. Then he can, like, bring back spell skate, and then we lose our pressure. We can't. He gets a spell skate, and then, yeah. All right, that can't happen. Keep on a brickin'. We need to brick at least two more draw steps and hopefully draw a bolt. No! You get a bolt. Wait, I don't get it. Repeat this process. Repeat this process. I have. Go with that, that, that. Why don't I hit more cards? All right, brick one more turn. We need one more turn to brick, and we rip a lightning bolt and win miraculously. All right, just a daze and a scalding turn. Oh no, <laughs> he found a brick wall. How the hell am I supposed to beat a 2-2? Two -two? How does Wizards keep printing these overpowered cards? This is absurd. Look at this thing. Oh, now I'm going to get double grindstone out. I'm going to get natural grindstone out.
two lands. Bolt. Oh. All right, come on. We need a bolt. Keep drawing those lands. Well, don't draw too many, because I'm going to bot the deck. <laughs> Actually, pull this out. This is most one of the most relevant board. All right, more dead cards. Draw, bolt. <sighs> I know I'm bringing that Kurt A back in. Jeez. No! Okay, that's bad. I'm gonna top. I guess he might be afraid of the fourth force of will. <gasps> There's a chance. Bolt. It's probably worse, but it's the same. Because we're getting up to three. We have one more bolt left in our deck. We're dead. All right. Kurt Ape, you did some good work. Uh, I guess Seven Library, you're going to be bad. It's not time for you yet. All right. My chair was a little low. I had to bring it back up. And John Mulligan. Hmm. All right, well, we'll keep this and hope we don't just die. Keep. Go get a volcanic island, cast a curd ape. Again, I mean, we can't do anything about it, but we're okay with that being in play. Force will sweet, but let's. Try to not get brainstorm locked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh. That. Do we really get rid of the cruise? I guess so. We might draw the cruise so we have force of will if we can. Uh, I'm just going to deal one here. Try to get that cruise back in our hand. But if we have to. Do something I think this is the hand we want. Okay, the spell sky's fine with me. So at least protects us. Uh, we're going to hope that he doesn't have a spirit land. Uh, 
Guess I should have attacked and tried to get on bolt. Yeah, that was stupid of me. I missed two damage. Don't mind an Imperial Recruiter. He's just gonna go get the Duder McDudes. Well, we want to find a land, so we're going to ponder. That's actually not too shabby. Rich Shuffle Library, no. I don't think we're going to want that. But. I think we can safely grudge here and then pitch. So we can safely grudge this because if we force and he pays, even a two mana land is not going to kill us. And now we just have a much better clock. And next turn we're going to be able to cruise and hold up grudge. That's if we use our Force of Will. Alright, so he doesn't have a two mana land, so he's not even able to do that. Um, hmm, hmm. I'm okay with that for now. So we can just grudge that. And then spell pierce. Perfect. Grudge. And now next turn we can Force of Will, Pitching Treasure Cruise. And if he doesn't have another land, we can Spell Pierce the Reb. Well, okay, we have to draw another out, I guess. Those lightning bolts. We have a cross on grip two, but we do have a tarn now. Yep. Guess we didn't have to worry about... I think we had to worry about this and play this game this way. Yep. 1-3. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to start wanting to do Tuesday videos on the decks that won. But if I keep, you know, going 1-3... Things are going to look bad. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching today. Let me know how bad I played or if this was just a run-of-the-mill variance. Uh, I'm new to this archetype. I actually have not cast this card since 2007. Um, I guess maybe in Modern right when it came out, if that deck played it. I think it did play card eight. But, yeah, that was last time. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. And I'm going to go decompress because this was really stressful and taxing. And I will never play this deck in an open. It is really hard. 
I mean, if you if this is your thing, you go do that. But I'm going to keep shoving 15-15s in my opponent's face and hope I win. Anyway, talk to you soon.